All right, think about this concept. Design your perfectly fulfilling day and live that now. Rock stars get to success and then still kill themselves. Create a day in which you'll be happy living forever and live that forever. See, I was watching a podcast today, Stephen Bartlett and uh, someone else, who the fuck was it now? Don't matter, if, I, if it comes back, I'll ring a bell. If it rings a bell, I'll come back to it. But anyway, they were talking about rock stars. They create success and then they have all the material success that you can imagine. They get the cars, the house, the women, etc. right? These are all the things that everyone pretty much wants, right? But then it comes the time when some of them overdose on drugs. Some of them kill themselves by hanging themselves or other nasty measures. And it just shows that the success that they've had doesn't determine whether they're going to be fulfilled and happy in their life, right? That's it. It was with Casey Neistat, the Stephen Bartlett podcast. I'm sorry for interrupting. Anyway, let's get back to it. So it just came, it just came that thought that you mentioned. He started talking about it and then started talking about happiness and fulfillment instead. And if you just listen to the concept of this video, which is design your day, design your perfectly fulfilling day and live that now. So what could that mean? And that could mean anything, right? It's the pursuit of happiness. That is where the happiness lies, right? Once you get it, yes, you've got some kind of level of safety net or financial security perhaps, but the fulfillment side of things has gone because now you've kind of sat satisfied that need of having financial security or wealth or money that was now going to elevate that quality of your, that area of your life, right? But in terms of what they were talking about, so designing your perfectly fulfilling day, think about the things that you would do when you are the millionaire, for example, or financially secure. And if you just do those things, those habits that you can create over a long period of time, that is what you should be doing now with your day-to-day -day time. And by doing so, typically the money will come. So think about it in various aspects of life, right? Let's just say a boxer, he is eight years old, he wants to become a boxer, so he goes to the gym every single weekend after and after school on Fridays, for example. Then when he gets to college, university age, he goes there like three times a week. After university, he goes there like every single day, right? He maybe have one rest day a week. He's not a professional boxer yet. He wants to be, right? But, and, and he's doing the right things to get there. But do you think that he is wishing to have success like by just going to the gym? He wants to get the titles and et cetera, win the, championship, win, win the belts, et cetera, right? But he's doing the right things every single day. He's probably getting better on a little technique here and there. He's like winning spa after spa, maybe losing a couple, learning from it and going back into it again, right? So he's getting these lessons that come from the training, the process, the progress you get from the process, right? So this is his day and he will be fulfilled if he keeps doing that forever. And if he gets to a point where he decides, okay, he's done with boxing now, he just needs to come to a situation where he's doing what he wants to do and the end result will eventually come. So let's just say this guy with the boxing thing, he's just training every day. He eventually goes into competitions. He may start winning. And by, by that process of just sticking to the process, he will eventually win. And if, and if he doesn't, he gets like chances to or opportunities to fight for that belt, right? But it's the process. It's the process. It's not the end result that's going to like make you feel filled and happy. It's the process that's going to make you happy. Think about a painter. This is a, probably a, like another good example. A painter would just paint every day because they love the painting. So let's just say they have a shit job. They're in a call center. They're in like they're on checkouts. They're on like digging in a mine for 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 what I know, right? But then every single day they finish at five o'clock and they come home at six o'clock. They have a little bit of dinner, put the kids to bed, etc. Then from eight to ten p.m. they go to their garage. They go to their shed. They go to the back room and just start painting every single day and they're painting canvases and canvases and bigger and bigger canvases. That two hour period is probably the happiest period of that person's day. Now let's just say one day they, um, they gain some attention for their paintings and then they get the opportunity to sell that painting. That's fantastic. It will give you a, like, a short degree of instant gratification. Like, okay, nice, I'm getting a little bit of external validation here. People are thinking my painting is cool, so they're buying it. That's great and everything, right? But, 
it wasn't that one external person buying their painting that gives them happiness and fulfillment long term. It's the daily activity of going into his shed, going to his garage, going to his back room, painting because that's just what he loves doing. And if he happens to sell them, fantastic. He earns a little bit of money from it, a bit of recognition from it, fantastic. That, then you can up the quality of his life through it as well, which is also fantastic. But the process itself of the painting, the getting better, etc., is the real reward for that individual person. So, I'm giving you a couple of examples now. Probably the second one's a little bit better, if I'm totally honest. Um, but think about what that could be for you. So, I'll give you a snapshot into my existence. My existence would be very fulfilled if I was able to share the lessons I'm learning with others. And so, this YouTube video is a perfect example and proof of the pu proof of the pudding, proof of the concept I'm talking about which is I'm sharing things that I find interesting to me and I'm putting it out there and I can get YouTube AdSense money from this video, this very video. A sponsor can come along later down the line and say, love your videos, I want to sponsor you about blah, blah, blah and I may take that up. A, I can put affiliate links to this, I can create a community, I can uh, like a chargeable community, I can drop merch, I can do all these different things that come through being a YouTube creator, right? But the process, so that's the reward, that's the external stuff, that's great, it will up my quality of lifestyle, it's just fantastic, but the process, which is me standing in front of the camera, talking, thinking about concepts, learning concepts, going out there, learning concepts, thinking about them, processing them, actioning them, then reporting my findings to you, that is a way I can find fulfillment every single day of the rest of my life. Do you see what I mean? So luckily I found this as an expression of how I can do that. So I've got this video which is a think about this concept video, give you a concept to think about or a life lesson to think about, to chew on. Got the dating advice video which is more like entertainment letting me like blow off some steam which is like fun for me to do because I like giving like funny uh, commentary as well as advice uh, if it's like going to help someone in that kind of realm if, it's, if I've got in, in a realm where I feel like I've got some kind of uh, understanding and then or like a, a step ahead of the, the other person that's writing the question for example and with the workout stuff I will be working out anyway but now I'm just documenting it so that you lovely people can see what I'm doing and if you want to work out with me you can work out with me etc right and uh, all of these videos that I'll put out they will make me money, just I me mean, through YouTube AdSense at least. So by me just doing what fulfills me, it makes me happy, which is chatting a bunch of shit, building an audience, sharing my lessons, sharing my life, working out at the same time, which is what I want to do and incorporate in the rest of my life, eating healthy, which is what I report in the workout vlogs. I'm doing what they're saying is, what was that quote again? One second is designing your perfectly fulfilling day and living that now. So hopefully, if that's the case, I'll get to that point where I do reach success, but because I've got the process of what I'm doing to constantly work on, iterate, get better at, and keep doing for the long run, yes, I can get more money that comes and buy another car, but I've already got a car, it gets me from A to B, but maybe it'll be a slightly nicer car, maybe it'll be a slightly nicer house, maybe I'll go, I'll go on slightly better holidays, but like, I'm already going on holidays, I've already got a house, I've already got a car, like, I've already got food in my belly, and that's never been a problem, right, <laughs> which is why I do workout vlogs, so all of these things I'm already getting, right, but by having more money, I'll just be able to up the quality of such things, I may actually just be you know, I, I won't be, but just let's say if I was um, eating it like shit right now and I had more organic food, for example, but I still ate loads of it, I'd still be in the same situation I'm in right now, right? It's like fat as fucking shit. So like, it's not about that. It's about the habits that you do and the processes that you do every single day. That is what your results will be, but also where your fulfillment is found in the long run. So I hope that helps. Hope this concept reaches you today and uh, you understand what I'm talking about. Yes, I was ranting a little bit, but it makes sense when you need to reiterate this point so that it drives home, so you actually take some action on this motherfucker, right? 
That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, make yourself proud, and I'll see you in the next video.